Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. So today we are going to see how to create very quickly and simply a beautiful liquid morphing simulation with 3ds Max and Phoenix. If you are interested, you can find the complete setup for my liquid simulation as well as 20 very realistic rendering materials on my Patreon. Okay, let's start now. Okay, so now we are in 3ds Max and the first thing I'm going to do is to create the letter I will use for the liquid morphing simulation. So. Air, spline, text, air, maybe with the letter A, I will now rotate the letter like this, and go to bevel, maybe add the A to 10, great, and maybe change the police. So here I will select Arial Black. Great. Now what I want to do is to create the second letter for the morphing from the letter A to the other one. So I will clone this letter and copy. And in the text menu, I will set B. Be like this. Okay. So I have here my letter A and the B. Now, I will go back to the A, go to Object Properties, Not Renderable and Display as Box, same for this one. Not Renderable and Display as Box, okay. And I will go for the property of the letter A, go to Chaos Phoenix Properties and select initial liquid fill. Okay, so why I select initial liquid fill? Because I want the letter completely fill at the beginning of the simulation. Okay, and for the letter B, I will go to Care Phoenix Properties 2 and I will deactivate solid object. Now I can create a Phoenix liquid grid here, like this. I will maybe switch here to the front view and just wrap properly the two letter. Perfect. I will now go to all the settings and I will show you what you have to configure. Okay, so simulation, with simulation, nothing. Here, for the voxel size, I love to choose a value of 0 0.5. It's generally a good value. Adaptive grade liquid with an extra margin of maybe five. For the dynamics, I just don't need the gravity. For the time scale, I stay in one, but I will up a bit the time step because I want a beautiful simulation. Nothing here. For the output, don't forget to select the velocity because it will be very important to generate after the motion blur. In the preview, I will select Show Mesh, and I think it's good for the remote. Okay, so now we will launch a simulation. So, as you can see, we have the A letter, it's good for the remote. Now what we want to do is to create the liquid morphing. So, so I will go here in Helper, and select Body Force. Now we will use the Body Force to tell to Phoenix to morph to the second letter. So, I will pick my second text here, text 2, for the strength, maybe a really good force, 500, max distance, nothing, fit start to zero because I want that the simulation start directly, for the suppression orb, you can, if you want, go to zero, but 0 0.5 is a good value, and same for the internal dampling, here, it's good. The depth minimum velocity is good to a value of 20, so I will don't change the value here. And now we have a very, very important setting, the spread speed. If you stay with a high value like this, with 400, the liquid will take long, long time to go to the morphing. It could be a very good effect, but in my situation, I want the morphing to be really quick, so I will go with a low value. Maybe you can go to zero 
I love to keep a little velocity, so I will go to a value of 22. No, I will just go here to zero. Strength here to zero. Go to frame five. Go back to 400. And I will just move here the key to the frame four. So here I will don't have the morphing. And after the frame four to the frame five, I will have a strength to 400 for the creation of the morphing. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so the simulation is finished at 100 frames. So now we will see how it looks. The letter A, and after the frame four to the frame five, we can see here the liquid morphing. It's really beautiful. If you want to smooth a bit the look of your simulation, what you can do is to go back to your Phoenix properties. Here in rendering, activate the smoothness, maybe a value of five, Great. What I have to do is to play with the particle size and I will go to 0 0.9. Maybe it's too high for the smoothness. Value of 2 maybe. Great. Yeah, it's very beautiful like this. Now if you want to create another morphing, I will show you how to do that. It's very simple. I will just up my number frame maybe 200 and after the frame 100 i will here activate my body for add a key and set the strength to zero i will now duplicate my body force here i will now create another letter so clone and I will set maybe the letter C like this. Same object properties, not from the rubble and display as box. And for the Phoenix properties, not solid. Okay. Now what I can do is to go here to my second body force, just delete all the keyframe. Strength to zero. I will add a key. And for the frame 101, I will set the strength to 400. Like the body force one. Okay. I can now pick my text tree for the letter C and relaunch the simulation. Okay, so the simulation is done. Let's see how it looks. The first later. After the frame 5, morphing to the letter B. Beautiful. And after another morphing to the letter C. It's great. Okay, so here you have the basic for the creation of the morphing simulation. If you want to add more detail and more detail, what you can do is just go to the grid here and increase the resolution. I think a value of 0 0.3 is a very, very good value to a very realistic and beautiful look. Okay, guys, so it's over for this tutorial. I hope you've learned a lot of things. Don't forget the thumb up and to subscribe if you like my work. You can of course find the complete file on my Patreon and you can follow me on Beyond or Instagram if you want. See you soon for the next tutorial guys. Bye.